Bobby of Icon made an appearance on the rap program program Me The Money back in 2014. He became popular with a trash rap directed at BTS and ERM. It was a major subject back then, as Bobby appeared to attack not only ERM, but also idol rappers in general. Many hip-hop stars feel that idol rappers are subpar compared to themselves. Bobby's raps used wordplay like, Sangnamja, Boy in Love's Korean title, and Bangtang, similar to Bangtan. During his performance of Bounce, he made generic allusions to favorite rappers, but particularly utilized the lines described above. His rhyme called against the idol rap culture, alleging that he was the one to clean up the mess that idol rappers had produced with the label of rapper. One song in particular, Come Here, clearly addressed Herm. I live a rapid life. Bangtang. And there is no need for attractive males. They label me a monster. But I never called myself such. You guys prefer a full-length mirror to an underground dungeon. If my talents were appearance, I would look like Wanbin in front of a bulletproof mirror. The lyrics were incredibly offensive on several levels. He referred to RM's moniker origin. Rap Monster. Arguing that whereas Erm chose himself the label, Bobby's title was bestowed by the public. He also implicitly mocked Beat's abilities, likening himself to a bulletproof mirror. Wanbin is one of South Korea's most well-known gorgeous actors. BTS stands for Bulletproof Boys in Korean. While it was all discussed in the same year, with Erm referring to it as healthy battles, Bobby recently addressed the issue again on money. Cord. He was questioned why he opted to insult Erm. While many questioned why he did not target EXO, whose rap members were the epitome of an idol rapper. He explained that he felt as if he would be murdered if he touched EXO. In 2014, EXO was the ultimate phenomenon and best selling boy group. BTS. On the other side, was only recently gaining notoriety. The MCS attempted to clarify that in the hip-hop environment, dis wars were viewed more as a game. On the other side, K-pop fans perceived it as a personal attack. Bobby also said that he was not given the opportunity to explain the culture and motivations behind his dis war, which left him with a lot of adversaries. He thought it was still too early to promote rap culture to Korean viewers.